have to start this video off by saying that I'm not ungrateful about anything. I could care less about that. I still find it crazy that how I was even able to get 1,380 subscribers in almost three years because it is really hard to grow on YouTube. I wasn't expecting to be making a video as it's quite unusual for making these types of videos. And the fact that I'm working on an actual video coming out this Sunday, which I will link in the description soon, I know this will seem disappointing to some of you. And I know a bunch of you will unsubscribe after this video, which I could care less about that actually. Also, there won't be much funny editing like my normal content because this video is different. If this news upsets you, I highly recommend clicking off the video because some of this might be upsetting to you. Also, I know I sound tired, I just swam a couple hours ago and I'm up at 9 p.m. recording this. Don't ask why, please. The only reason why I'm making this video is so I don't get so many comments like, oh my god, why have you not live streamed? And so people don't make up rumors about me. By the way, I'm not quitting YouTube entirely, but I am just quitting creating live streams for now. I will get into that at the end though. Anyways, so let's start. Why am I quitting live streaming? So I know that most of you watching this watch my live streams because I can see from my YouTube analytics. I check that often actually. If you don't care about this change, you can just click off this video. I don't really care. Anyways, I should start to get to the point now because this is taking forever. So I'm quitting live stream for multiple reasons. First, it isn't fun anymore. So I know that lots of you enjoy my live streams and I used to enjoy live streaming myself. I would be excited to play Roblox games with my subscribers and it has kind of gone old and somewhat repetitive. Plus it would give me a lot of anxiety a lot of times even though I did enjoy it. This possibly just might be because I used to struggle with social anxiety back when I was in elementary school. The anxiety thing would sometimes happen, which again, could just be me, because I have to practice socializing a lot with others or else my anxiety will go girl by. I know live streaming isn't necessarily socializing, if that makes sense, like with a real person. However, it somewhat feels like it. Like it's kind of like half of what it feels like because you have the live chat, you have everyone else as well in the Roblox server, and it's just a lot to handle with me. By the way, I'm not scared of talking to people on Roblox, no. It's just a crazy amount of socializing, I feel like, online, which can be overwhelming for me. Plus, there would be sometimes crazy drama, and there would be annoying people constantly trying to ruin the streams. I'll just put up an example here. All right. Oh, wait. Har oh, wait. Heartbreak. I have to, like, get out. Okay. Okay. The ban menu. How do I do the- Okay. Oh, my God. This this actually is not funny. Okay, I it was kind of a toxic cycle for me constantly. And sometimes I would pressure myself with lots of anxiety in the same morning just to get over with. And I was worried that people would totally forget about me if I stopped because I have built most of my active fan base from live streaming. Yes, all of you still watch my videos, but it seemed like most of you preferred my live streams much more. Now, this other reason might seem kind of ungrateful, so I hope it doesn't come out like that. If it does, I'm sorry. Now, some of you have not been keeping up with some of my latest streams, which is okay. Some of you probably didn't even know I was streaming. Well, I just, I just made like all the recent streams private, so yeah. So YouTube has been constantly suppressing my live streams for no reason whatsoever, and a lot of subscribers have not been notified them. So some people don't even know that I'm like streaming and it's very concerning actually the fact that some of my fan base doesn't even know if I'm making videos or live streaming anymore. So yes, I am grateful though because at least people were looking up if I was streaming, which is really nice. However, by the way, this isn't anything to do with summer. I actually had a live stream around nine days ago with an average of 10 people and look at this poll on my community post on my channel before the stream. Over 75% of people were on summer break. Sure, there are some people who search for my live streams or some get notified, but what I'm saying is I can't really reach a new audience with it anymore. And moving forward, I want to obviously build an audience. That's the whole goal of having a YouTube channel, growing your channel over time. So again, I am only quitting live streaming temporarily. I'm still going to be posting videos every week, so don't forget about that. I also will be continuing posting shorts sometimes. By the way, you guys should watch my latest shorts. I'll have them linked in the pinned comment. So if you are wondering when I will come back to live stream, it would at least be two weeks. It could possibly last up to two to three months. I'm not sure about that. 
Again, this is not confirmed, so I don't know when I'm going to be coming back. There is a super slim chance that I will quit permanently. I, if I do quit permanently, I will post about it on my community tab. But even then, probably if I quit permanently, I would still like probably randomly stream like very rarely, like once every couple months. But for now, no live streaming.